What's up everybody? My name is Cap the Everyday Gamer and you're watching a team deathmatch on Black Ops. I was playing with my buddies Long Ball and Dynamo and decided to use the old Kipris since I never used it before. Had a pretty good round, thought I'd share it with you. What I was going to talk about in this video is YouTube and I'm not talking about subs, reviews, or broken sub boxes, all the other stuff that's pretty common. I was talking about whether or not you should start a YouTube channel and if, if you're thinking about it and just kind of give you a little heads up onto what it's like and you know some do's and don'ts basically just from my point of view. The first thing you're going to notice is the first time you have any form of success is that people want you to help them become successful too. They want to know, what did you do? How, how can I do this? And you know, a common question I get all the time is, what do you recommend I do or what suggestions do you have to get noticed? And my first suggestion to you is, do something people aren't already doing. You know, I'm sorry, but if your first video you're going to do is your Minecraft Let's Play series, or you just playing Minecraft like everybody else is, you're not going to get noticed unless there's just something really stands out about your personality, because everybody's doing that. There's, it doesn't make you special to do it. I promise, whatever tactics you're using to build a house or anything in your game's probably already been done a thousand times over. Doing something different on YouTube is the best way to get noticed, and personality is a big portion of that. You can't just play some random game nobody's ever heard of, and then it's like, oh, okay, well, nobody's doing me playing Pilot Wings on the old NES or whatever. I'll, I'll, that'll make me blow up. No, not necessarily. It's got to be a combination of something people actually want to watch and have you having a personality that can attract that style of, you know, target audience. Now, one of the other things you need to do is to set a realistic goal when you start YouTube. If your goal is to make money, you're already starting off wrong. It takes a lot of work to make any money off YouTube, and it's really not that much. I mean, yeah, there's some guys out there that make a crap ton of money doing this, but that's all they do. And they average millions and millions of views every week, and it's you know it takes up all of their free time. You, you know who they are. You know, I average three to three hundred or three hundred to three hundred fifty thousand views every month, and I'm by any no means raking in cash. I'm, you know, it's nice to have an extra little bonus and some spending money, but I mean, and that's that's a lot. Three hundred fifty thousand views for any channel is big. I mean, it really is. It takes a lot of work to get there. And something else about YouTube is it's about luck, skill, and timing. You know, you've got to get luck. You've got to hit at that that perfect spot, and I don't even know when that is. It's getting a video up, getting a concept of a video up and stuff before it blows up. I mean, right now, there's so many people doing these scare videos that if you did one now, nobody would probably watch it because everybody's already done it. But you do one of those, and you're the first one to do it, or you're one of the first ones to do it, you'll, people will come to you to watch it, and then it doesn't matter if anybody else is doing it because you were one of the first ones to do it. And, you know, that's just that's just a big thing about that there. Yeah, and I'm going to give you a tips too here, guys. Is if you're starting off a YouTube channel, please don't spam other people's comments on videos saying, hey, there's absolutely no way to get noticed on YouTube these days, so come check out my channel. I, I do daily Moabs and Minecraft get, plays and giveaways. And, you know, what makes me special is that I actually interact with my subscribers and respond to comments. No, that doesn't make you special. It makes you just like the rest of us. And it's annoying to see those. Me personally, I delete them just because they're annoying. You can tell they're copy and pasted. There's no thought process put to them whatsoever. There's not that many people out there that don't interact with the subscribers. So that doesn't make you special. It makes part of the, it's part of the job. So I mean, that's just I don't know. It's kind of annoying seeing those on there. And uh, you know, something else is don't go around asking people that you don't know for shout outs and. Um, to do a dual commentary. Doing a dual commentary with somebody you don't know and you're not already friends with and talk to on a regular basis comes across as a job interview. It's very vanilla, it's dry, it's not interesting to listen to, and it's not going to help you anyway. Um, they're not going to upload it to their channel and you uploading a dual com with a big subscriber on or a big YouTuber on your own channel is not going to help anything. And uh, shout outs don't work like they used to, man. You know, people ask, hey, can you give me a mention in your next video? Well, one, asking for a shout out from somebody you don't know. Here's the best way I can do that. I can explain that. It's like the first day of school and you're the new kid. You're new, you want to make friends as quick as possible and get known or whatever. And so you go up to the most popular kid in school, the basketball star, the quarterback, or the whatever. Say, hey man, I know you don't know me. You've never met me and know nothing about me. Can you go around to all your friends and all your teammates and coaches and stuff and tell, your, tell them how cool I am and tell them to come hang out with me? And it's not going to work. So, wrapping it up because the game is almost over. 
you know, if you want to be successful at YouTube, set a realistic goal, set, you know, a growth plan on your own goal that would make it successful to you to keep you happy. Do it to have fun. If you're doing it to make money, you're doing it wrong. And, you know, think outside the box. You've got to add a little creativity to it or nobody's going to want to watch it because then you're no different than anybody else. So anyway, the video's wrapping up here. I thought I had a decent gameplay and hope you guys enjoyed it. You know, if you did, leave me a like. I appreciate that and you guys have a good one and I'll talk to you later.